Welcome to Yoga by Me, Zach. <laughs> so let me tell you about my day. I burnt the life out of my finger, my favorite one. It hurt really bad. But, I don't know, maybe I'll sell a fingerprint in a couple of days. We'll see what happens. So, I found out my neighbor's kid is still alive. I heard them the other day, they're playing hide and seek. But I don't know if they realize, like this apartment complex is only this big. Like you only get one parking spot. There's only so many places that you can hide. Like, you know, I'm gonna hide behind this bush or, you know, the lamp post, I guess. I don't know, there's good for them for trying. So people, 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 what are we gonna do today? We're gonna find our tall spine is what we're gonna do. We're gonna lock our chin into that spine. We're gonna take a deep breath into our hips. And if we exhale, we're gonna feel that breath leading through the, through the spine, all the way through the neck, out the top of the head. Let's take another breath. Finding a big expansion, starting to fill our bodies. And gently exhale. Connecting to that breath, connecting to your body, to your moment, finding your center. Slowly start to open your eyes. Staying with your breath. Let's inhale our shoulders forward. Exhale, release them. Let your shoulder blades melt down the back body. Inhale forward. And exhale down the back body. One more, inhale forward. And exhale down the back. Let's inhale this left arm up. Exhale, take it to the right ear. As you exhale, let your neck fall over. Left ear, left shoulder. Not really pushing on it, but just using your hand as kind of a, just a gentle weight. We're going to breathe into this open side of the neck. Exhale, releasing through this left side, through this closed side. Let's inhale our left hand up. Take it to the outside of the left hand, exhale. Gently push the head back up so you don't re-engage the neck muscles. Let's just switch sides, let's take that right arm. Inhale up. Exhale to the left ear, and as we exhale, gently tilt that neck over. Again, breathe through the left open side of the neck, exhale through the right closed side. Really feel that stretch down the neck and down the shoulder.
Let's inhale that right arm up. Take it to the outside of the right ear. Exhale, push your head back up. Take a moment, take a breath, check in with your body, check in with yourself. Let's inhale our arms up, both of them. Exhale, back down to center earth. Inhale up, really find that big expansion through the torso. Exhale. One more after this. Inhale up, make it, make it count, make a big one. Exhale. Fabulous. I'm going to come off of this block, although it's awfully comfortable. I'll keep you in mind for later. Let's take our legs right out in front of us, Dandasana, our beautiful staff, folks. Pull those toes right into your beautiful heart. Take a deep breath. Hands down the side, palms face the earth. As you exhale, let your heart rise, your Uliana Bandha. Letting your sits bones sink deep into the earth. Big inhale. Exhale, let the Mula Bandha rise. The Mula Bandha is basically your pelvic, pelvic floor. We're gonna pull in the tummy, and we're gonna pull our Uliana Bandha up. And we're gonna lock our chin for our throat on the big inhale. And if you can do them all three at the same time, you're doing better than I am right now. <laughs> Let us take this right leg and pull it over the left. Take those beautiful phalanges of yours and put them between your beautiful toes. Are toes called phalanges too? I think they are. And if that's not available, you can just grab your foot. That's fine too. Let's take some nice little ankle circles here. You all know how to do it. The movement comes from our arm, not our actual ankle because we want the full rotation. Now I'm stuck on my phalanges. Phalanges and the metatarsals are in the, that part of the hand, and then it goes into your wrist. Yeah, that's right, they're phalanges. Toes are phalanges too. Oh, but no, they're pigs. They're little piglets. Circle that ankle the other way. Not phalanges, they're piglets. Don't forget about those little piglets. Let's wiggle those around too. Front, back, side to side, up and down. Wiggle it all around. Yeah. I want to keep my little piglets. Nobody's going to the market today. Let's release that left foot down to the earth. And let's switch sides. Let's take that left foot, cross it over the right. Interlace those beautiful phalanges into those beautiful toe phalanges. I did a Spanish class once. And the English translation for toes wasn't toes, it was the fingers of my foot. It was in the, the Spanish to English dictionary. So, there you have that. Nice little angle rotations here. Remember we come from the arm and not the actual ankle because we want the full rotation. In the other direction. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I'm 
Don't forget about those little piggies. Make sure nobody's running away. Front, back, side to side. Do a little dance, guys. Yeah. Whoa. All right, let's release that left leg right down to the earth. Beautiful. Pull those toes into the heart. Let your heart rise. Inhale your arms up. Big inhale. Exhale, gentle forward fold. Let your body just fold over where it may. Yours may be deeper, maybe shallower. That is totally up to you and your body. I notice as the week goes on, I start to get a little bit stiffer. So my body sometimes doesn't fold the way it did on Tuesday. Big inhale all the way to the toes. Exhale, let that breath go through the back body. Allowing that exhale to facilitate the, the forward fold. Stay with that breath. Beautiful. Let's take an inhale up. Exhale to the earth. I kind of was just then imagining like this big sunshine. Kind of beautiful. Well, sunshine, you're welcome. All right, let's take the soles of our feet, put them together. We're going to lift up our bottom and move it to those feet so that we uh, release the lower hamstring. Let those knees fall where they may. Again, if you need a book, a block, a blanket, a pillow, something for a little extra support, you go for it. Listen to your body and do what you need to do there. Find that even spot on your sits bones. Take a big inhale. Exhale through that length of the spine. Let your heart rise. On your next exhale, maybe start to take a little bit of forward fold. And again, just at your level. I didn't move just a couple in inches there and I started to fill my stretch. And so I'm going to stop there and really breathe into that, into that movement. And I feel comfortable enough on an exhale, maybe I'm going to go a little bit farther. Now I'm going to start to play with my feet again. I'm going to take my hands and try to pull the palm of my, uh, the palm, the soles of my feet straight, straight to the sky. Give myself another little dynamic stretch there, just a little something extra to hold on to. I feel like, and I hope that, it, that I'm right, I'm trying to listen to my body here, but as I've breathed into my movement, I feel like my legs have started to open up a little bit more, and then I'm getting a little bit farther down to the earth with them. So connect with your body and see, see how your breath affects your, your movement, and how it, it opens up your body or maybe closes your body in one spot and opens it in another. Stay with your breath, connect with your body. Let's inhale up. Mm -hmm. 
Let's start to release those legs. I'm gonna just release them out in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and place my uh, right leg down and put my left leg on top for a fire log pose or a double pigeon. Uh, if that's not available for you, you can certainly go into your sukhasana, your cross leg pose, uh, or whatever pose is comfortable for you. Let's take our beautiful hands and place them on the crease of your hips. Find a tall spine. Let's inhale to the left. We're just gonna do some nice little hip circles here. Exhale to the right. Inhale left. Exhale to the right. As I do this, I'm staying even on my sits bones. I'm not coming up off of one to the other. And you can certainly do this without your hands and your, the crease of your hips. That just brings my awareness to it. It's more of a mental thing for me than anything else. I just kind of need that extra, extra visualization. Exhale to the right. Inhale left. Exhale to the right. Let's stop in the center this time. Let's take it. Oh, sorry. Take an inhale. But let's switch the cross of our legs. So now my left's going to go on bottom. My right's going to go on top. Take an inhale. Switch the direction. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. As always, you decide how big your circle is. Big circle, little circle, you decide. Inhale on the left and we'll stop at the top. Exhale. Gentle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Since we're already here in our pigeon pose, we might as well go ahead and work on that piriformis muscle a little bit. So let's inhale our arms up. Reach for the sky. Exhale, take a gentle forward fold. Again, allow your body just to land wherever it does. Uh, maybe up here, maybe here, maybe way down there. Uh, listen to your body, you decide what's going on there. Right about here is it for me, and I can start to feel that piriformis muscle through the side of my hip, so I'm gonna inhale into that. Let's hold it here for a couple of breaths. Let's start to walk our bodies up with an inhale. Take a gentle exhale. That's how you should do it. Let's switch the cross of our legs one more time since I decided to throw this in here last second. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, gentle forward fold. Mine is about right there. Something in my left side has been stiff this week because this one's not as low as the other one was. Hmm. I'm going to explore that with a deep breath into that hip. <sighs> Exhale. Find your movement, find your body, breathe into it.
Did you guys just hear me talking to my body? Yeah, I hope you talk to your body too. I was commenting on how after a few breaths, I started to feel that uh, muscle loosen up a little bit and feel like I could go a little bit deeper into it, and I didn't get much. Uh, or as much as I thought I would. And, uh, I'm going to explore that a little bit more as we go through the through this session of hashtag for the best hack. Inhale, your body up, start to walk it back. Exhale, center. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna try and do this class without going into a down facing dog. So let's cross our legs just enough so that we can come up on to our hands. I feel like I've done enough down dogs for the week. So let's inhale our arms up. This time let's turn our palms to the sky. Exhale. Prop up that sky, really find your breath. When you exhale, reach for the sky. See if you can't find another two inches through the spine. Three inches, four inches. Whatever your body allows. One more deep breath. Exhale. And gently, let's just bring our arms down. Let's go ahead and bring our knees together. We'll come back into a Thunderbolt pose, which as we know from the hero pose, the Thunderbolt pose, our legs are together, and we do not pull our calf muscles to the outside for this one. This just kind of changes the breath a little bit. It changes the motion. Uh, if you know the, if you've been following along, which I know you have from all the other classes, um, see how the Thunderbolt pose changes from your hero pose with the breath. Uh, notice how it affects your body, how, it, how your body reacts to it. We're going to breathe all the way down and kind of feel that breath. Let me turn sideways. Kind of feel that breath coming all the way down through the hips. Feel those thighs expand. Really feel that breath kind of come through like the Thunderbolt right there. So let your heart rise. Lock that chin in. Big inhale. Good. Let's come forward just so that we can prop our toes underneath us. And you guessed it, we're coming back to the toe spot. I gotta get off that crease of my mat. It's gonna drive me, drive me silly. I'm gonna find that length of my spine. I'm gonna inhale all the way down to those toes. I'm feeling not very balanced today, so I'm not going to try and do a mudra. And I think it's my finger's fault. Which one did I burn that one? It's my finger's fault. I'm unbalanced because I burned it. Beautiful, beautiful. If you need to grab a block to hold on to, go for it. Um, actually, I think I am going to do that. You grab a block, you can go tall wise here, medium there, even a low block there. There's all kinds of different 
uh, links here that you can try out. Use which one is best for you for today. Maybe it'll be a lower one tomorrow, maybe it'll be a higher one tomorrow. Good. And I'm going to use this block uh, to help me just kind of bend my knees forward. I'm going to plant my feet flat on the earth. I'm going to find that length of my spine, the top of my head is going to go straight forward into that wall. I'm just going to breathe here for a moment. And with slightly bent knees, I'm going to inhale my body up. Swan over up. Exhale, just release those arms. And I'll turn back to my center forward spot here. So far, we haven't done a single down dog yet, but we have been breathing like a boss. Move that block out of the way. Let's find our mountain pose. So we're going to pull our feet so that they come straight out of our hips. Uh, we want to center in the ball of the foot, in the center of the foot, the K1 point, bubbling well, whichever you prefer to call it. I'm going to raise my toes up so I make sure I'm suction down the way I'm supposed to be. Slightly bent knees, I'm going to pull my arms down beside me, uh, palms facing forward. I'm going to lead with my heart. Lock your chin in. Big inhale all the way to the earth. Exhale that breath through the length of the spine. Feel that spiral of the breath. Inhale. Beautiful. Let's take these arms, inhale up. Exhale, bend down, Utkatasana, chair pose. Your drishti, your gazing point, can go in between these palms like mine is, or you can look straight forward. Whichever you are accustomed to, or feel more comfortable with. Let's inhale up, exhale those arms down. Take a nice just little shoulder roll here because we're going to move back into those shoulders in a minute. Just kind of just loosen them up a little bit. Make them loosey-goosey. Yeah. All right, let's inhale those arms up. Interlace those fingers, exhale to the sky. Find that length of the body, big inhale. As you exhale, find that length pressing into the sky. Let's start to twist through the palm trees, big inhale. Exhale to the right. Still keeping a little micro bend through the knees. Inhale to the front. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the front. Exhale to the right. Inhale, front. Exhale to the left. Inhale, 
Inhale, center, last one. Exhale to the right, or last set, you gotta do both sides. Hold it there for a moment. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Hold it there for a moment. Inhale to the center. And release those arms, exhale. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna do just a couple little shoulder rolls. Loosen everything back up a little bit. All right, you ready? Find that center point of your feet. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. With bent knees, inhale up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up half. Exhale, forward fold. Let me show you a different way of doing this. We'll move through the legs. Take your arms behind you to the Achilles tendon through the heels. Inhale up halfway. Just above the knee, move those hands to the front. Exhale, give yourself that nice little leg massage. Exhale, all the way through the feet. There's a whole series of that that we'll get into one day, and I'll teach you all kind of that self-massaging, opening the gates routine. And let's cross the, our elbows here. Go ahead and drop the crown of your head into the earth. Rag off those, kind of just hang out. Stay with your breath. Drop your soft palate of your mouth, the roof of your mouth, drop it into the earth. Find a little bit more extension through the spine that way. Let's drop those hands down. And I'm gonna drop my knees. We're gonna come straight down into the, into the earth and I'll turn sideways for it. Just lower yourself all the way down to the earth. I'm gonna take my feet up just a little bit wider there. I'm gonna take my hands out in front of me for a sphinx pose. You guys know how to do it. Forearms, palms facing deep into the earth. Now pull those shoulders back, opening your heart. Breathing through the length of the spine, all the way down to the lower sacrum of the spine. Exhaling that entire length of the spine. Filling that breath spiral, filling the body, decompressing, exhaling out the top of the head. Maybe even with your breath, focusing on the pineal gland just above the roof of the mouth. The pineal gland helps regulate your melatonin release um, in your sleep cycles. So really focus on that because everybody needs a healthy night's sleep. And exhale, I'm gonna release down to the earth. I'm just gonna roll over. Just like this, take a moment, take a few breaths to get there. Oh, my beautiful headband. You're digging into my head. Adjust your super awesome Yoga by Zach headband. 
make yourself comfy. Find that center of your mat, move yourself around a lot. Because, you know, why relax in yoga class? No, seriously, y'all relax. Just move. Adjust your body how you need to. I'm going to take my feet to the width of my mat. And today, I'm going to... I'm going to face my palms to the sky today. And I'm going to find myself even on my back body from my shoulders all the way down to my uh, hips. I'll find an even spot onto your mat. And I'm going to kind of glue my skin down to that mat and just kind of wiggle my skeleton inside of my skin. Can I give myself that nice little, little movement, little wiggly inside my body there? Maybe side to side, back and forth. Maybe do some nice little circles through your skin. The first time I did this, I felt absolutely stupid. But it's okay to feel stupid. As long as you're taking care of your body and your mind. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff. It feels good to me. Of course, the first time I did this, I couldn't do it. I didn't understand what was going on. It took me a few tricks, but I didn't give up. Find that center point, beautiful. While we're down here, let's take this right hand, inhale it up. I'm gonna exhale it over. I'm still gonna keep my shoulders flat onto the, the earth, onto my mat. I'm just gonna take a nice little stretch here. Just something passive. Notice how when you do the stretch, um, when we do it like sitting up, or when we do it um, when we're threading through our bodies on, on the front side of the mat. Notice how this is different from that, how you feel maybe a, a different kind of stretch through the shoulder because we're able to keep that alignment, our straight shoulders flat on the, on the earth. Notice how this changed for you, or maybe it didn't change. Let's release this right arm. Go ahead and take it out to a T. Inhale this left arm up. Exhale it over. Remember we're staying even on our shoulder blades. Exhale. And I came up off of my shoulders, so I need to readjust myself so that I'm even there. Now we're going to inhale that arm up and release them back down to that beautiful T. I gotta move down a little bit. I got too many props in the way. Or not enough. Maybe I need more props. I'm going shopping, people. Beautiful T. Open that heart, open those shoulders. Big inhale. Let's inhale our right knee into the tummy. Exhale, take a full extension there if you're able to. Inhale it into the tummy. Exhale. One more inhale to the tummy. 
exhale, find that extension. I point my toes with this, but you can also point your heel, whichever is more comfortable for you or whatever kind of stretch that your leg feels like you need. Exhale to the earth. Listen to your body and do the stretch that, that you feel like you need most. Let's switch over to our left leg, big inhale into the tummy. Exhale, find that extension. Maybe through the toe or through the heel. Notice how it changes the stretch for you. Again, listening to your body and doing the stretch that you need the most. Or maybe even switching it up. You, you, you decide, you know what you're doing. Inhale to the tummy. Exhale, find that extension. Notice I'm leaving my hips flat on the earth. I'm not lifting them up when I pull my knee into the tummy. Inhale to the tummy. Exhale, find that extension. And release into the mat, into the earth. Let's go ahead and just release our legs down. Find your Shavasana, the end of your practice. Today, I'm going to keep my arms out to that cheek because that feels good to me. I'm going to connect to my breath, connect to my body. Big inhale all the way down to your toes. Exhale. Let your body melt deep into the earth. Connect to your breath. Find your breath, find your peace. If you'd like to stay in your Shavasana for a little bit longer, listen to yourself, enjoy that moment. And for those of you that are ready, maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes, bring a little life into your body. Start to thank yourself for not falling asleep and snoring during your Shavasana. Start to roll over to the right side. We'll meet in a fetal position for a few breaths.
Take that left hand and use it to exhale, push your body up. We'll meet in a tall seated posture. Fix your headband so you don't look funny. Because we want to look cool, guys. Cool headbands for cool people. I'm going to come up on this beautiful block. I'm going to find a tall seat. Find that length of your spine. Take a big inhale. Exhale, smile with your eyes. Smile with your mouth. Smile with your heart. Thank you for joining me. Thank you all so much for joining me with this beautiful practice for our beautiful bodies. It's Yoga by Zach. Um, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you right back here on the mat. Tuesday at 7. Thanks, guys. Feel free to visit the website, zagrace.enterprise.com, or the Facebook page, add me on Facebook. Have a great weekend.